Great news, guys. Brand new states approved for $281 max snap emergency allotments arriving in November and December of this year. Also, there is still time for some people to claim their COVID-19 stimulus payments if they have not yet done so. The stimulus payments, totaling $3,200, can still be claimed by November 15th, even if you don't pay taxes due to having little or no income. What's going on, my friends? Josh Baldwin here from Mad Money Millennial, bringing you the latest news and most straightforward information out there for those of you on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and SNAP or EBT benefits. You could do me a giant favor by tapping those like and subscribe buttons, and let's get into this breaking news update regarding SNAP benefits. Now, if we take a look at the new states approved for minimum $95 or maximum $281, SNAP emergency allotments for the months of November and December, we now have a list of 21 states that have so far approved waivers to extend these benefits. So nine more states added since our last update. Absolutely incredible news. Now, if you live in the state of Delaware, the SNAP emergency food benefit will be available on recipients' EBT cards on Thursday, October 27th. Eligible temporary assistance for needy families and general assistance households will receive an emergency cash benefit check on or after Thursday, October 27th. As for my lovely Texas viewers, here is the November 2022 schedule for Texas Lone Star Card SNAP benefits. In the state of New York, we have some terrific news. The declaration was formally set to end this month until Governor Kathy Hochul announced her intention to approve an extension of SNAP emergency food benefits all the way through to February of next year. Now, regarding my lovely Georgia EBT recipients, according to the Georgia Department of Human Services, the second round of pandemic EBT assistance for children younger than six years old is now being issued to families. Eligible families in Georgia's SNAP program can receive a little more than $29 per child for each eligible month. The Division of Family and Children's Services will continue issuing the benefits through October 30th, according to Human Services. These benefits will automatically be loaded onto the Head of Households EBT card. Additional pandemic EBT updates for each state will be provided as we move closer to the official disbursement dates. All right, my Mad Money Minions, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like Comment down below any information you might have about your own SNAP benefits, and maybe you can help someone else out. And of course, hit that subscribe button and notification bell right next to it. Hitting that bell will make sure you get notified exactly when my videos are coming out and not a week or two later. If you're interested in investing, you can now get your one free stock by clicking the Robinhood link in the description. If you would like to listen to these videos while you drive in your car, you can now listen to me on my new Spotify station. And lastly, if you'd like to support my channel, you can now own your very own original Mad Men Millennial t-shirt. Colors come in black, gray, red, and white, and a link to my store can be found right under this video. Alright guys, stay safe, stay hustling, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.